This is a 12.8 volt, 100 amp hours lithium iron phosphate battery from Ulaik. Catchy name. In the box, you got this tiny user manual, terminal screws, and the battery itself. This is a group 31 sized battery, 13 inches by 6.77. 8.58 inches weighs 18 pounds can be series connected and parallel connected up to a 4s 4p configuration and this battery is actually ip67 waterproof and ip67 means ingress protection 6 7 the first number is the environmental and dust and debris proofing, which is six, what you see in most batteries. And the seven is the waterproofing. The seven means that it actually can be submerged in water up to one meter for 30 minutes. That's pretty cool. Usually, standard batteries are IP65, the five meaning they can withstand the normal splashes and rain and stuff like that. But this one, you could actually drop it in the river, pick it back up, and it should work just fine. Labeling is pretty straightforward. I did notice on their website that there was a 100 amp BMS, meaning there should be 100 amp continuous discharge here it says 50 and max discharge 100 but i guess we'll find out later in this video looks like we got a removable lid and easy access to the cells and the bms so we're going to charge it up to 100 percent do a discharge test with our capacity tester then we're going to remove the lid and take a look inside see what we got to work with so let's take it over to the bench and put the charge on it so while we're charging let's take a look at the user manual i was hoping for a more in-depth user manual some more information on it but it is what it is not really that much information. Oh, and by the way, check out their YouTube channel to see them submerge battery in water and it still works. Pretty cool. So we'll let it charge up and we will do a capacity test. All right, so the battery is fully charged. Now let's hook it up to our capacity tester to see how many amp hours we get. Hopefully, 100 amp hours. So I set it to 10 amps and the test has started. Now let's just wait and see. The results are in. We landed on 101.97 amp hours. That is a pass. 10 hours and 8 minutes. Nice. Now let's remove these plugs covering the screws and Remove the lid and take a look inside. There we go. Might as well remove the nylon strap as well. And there we go. Nice flexible 7 gauge wires. Put your BMS right there. And let's try to get the battery pack out of the enclosure. This is the BMS. I had to remove the glued on padding get to the labeling it says 100 amps so it is 100 amp BMS so we got the double fiber board the BMS on top so you got your temperature sensor going down through here it's taped to the top of the cells which is fine and your balance leads to each cell 
they are welded and soldered. I will do a QR reading on the cells and show you right here. Looks like new cells. Insulation between each cell. It was a tight fit. It really snug in place in the casing. You won't get any wear and tear from driving around your RV or your boat or something like that. Let's test the temperature protections on the battery. We'll put a small charge using the DC power supply. And we'll test it with heat and cold. So I put a small charge on the battery pack using the DC power supply. We're charging at 2 amps. Now let's test the item protection. See if the charging turns off while we hit it with a heat gun. There we go. Turned off. See if it starts charging again. And we're back. That works. Let's do it again. It's getting hot. And it shut down. Nice. And we're charging again. Great. So high temp protection is a solid pass. Let's see how it fares with frozen salt water for the low temp protection, if there is any. Got a cup of ice right here with a hole in the ice for the probe to go in. Let's see what happens. Pay attention to the power supply. And it shut down. Let's heat it back up. We're charging again. Put it back in. And it shut down. So it's actually got cold temperature protection. That's nice. Get back up. And we're charging. So I hooked up another charger just to, for fun's sake, test the BMS output. See if it can handle 100 amps of discharge. I did talk to Hulike, and I mentioned the labeling that says 50 amps discharging current. And although it is a 100 amp BMS inside, they confirmed that there is a 100 amp BMS and it will handle it continuously. Although they are conservative on their labeling, which is smart, I guess. But I think they should have left that in the manual. Anyway, let's try it out for fun's sake. So I connected an inverter to the battery and added a clamp meter so that we can get a amp reading while we're drawing some power using this heat gun. All right, so this is uh, editing Jonas talking. The microphone stopped working, but as you can see, Battery is drawing about 140 amps. It did not get hot. Nothing got warm. Didn't even break a sweat. So, in my opinion, this works great. No problem. I did run this test for about five minutes. So, based on this test we just made, 
the 12.8 volt 100 amp power lithium iron phosphate battery from who like seems like a quality battery if you got any questions feel free to leave them in the comments like this video if you like this video be sure to check out these two videos next because youtube wants you to and i'll see you in the next one